All right, what's happening, everyone? Welcome to this replay edition of Outside the Box. Today is December 23rd. We are going to be talking about Christmas traditions. Now, just waiting before we get started. I just want to thank everyone who will be who will be watching this as the replay. We hope you could join us week to week on our live stream. And uh, from everyone here at SGW Entertainment, to your family, we hope you all have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Welcome to another edition of Outside the Box. I'm still trying to get my uh, technical, issues. technical issues going here before we go live. <laughs> um, yeah. Like the elevators. Uh, same here. It wouldn't be us if we didn't have some kind of technical issues. Yeah, exactly. Now, how do I go back to the settings? <laughs> uh, oh, advanced settings. Yeah, I'm supposed to be gone horizontal. All right, well, when we go live, uh, we'll... We might be sideways. We might be sideways, but we'll... We'll be able to tell in a few moments. Yeah. Always something, yeah. I thought I'm figuring out, like, son of a... It, it, it's kind of funny, though. Because <laughs> we got... Yeah, I know. But when we do actually go live... I do, before we start taking phone calls, I do, hey, you want to hand me that? Yes. All right, guys, I, I swear we're going to be going live in, in a few moments. I swear. That's just for the replay here that we're talking, we're, that we're video for in two. Okay, right. we're waiting. Yeah. Uh, uh. And I was late because I was making this delicious cup of vanilla tea. Next. We did share, go live. Advanced settings. Now it won't let. No. Oh. Advanced rotate. Son of a. All right, I'm gonna have to figure this out. Um. I thought I figured it out, but horizontal. No, we'll have to go to vertical. All right. All right. Okay, we are live now. Just get a notification on the uh, wait for the notification. Yeah, hasn't come yet. Welcome to live chat. Remember to guard. Yeah, I know. I know. Guard the privacy. All right. Let's wait until we get the overall bill that we're good to go. There it is. All right. Guys, welcome to our Christmas edition of Outside the Box. I, as always, I am your host with the most, Jay Anch. I'm here with FP from False Paranormal. We Hello. are your we are your weekly hosts. Now, before I turn the uh, before I turn the phone on the phone line on, I want to answer. I got a we got a uh, FP. We got a someone made us someone asked us a question. Do you go live on YouTube? Well, okay, let's answer that first question first. Yes, we are live now. And how do, how do we look? We're good. There's okay. a little uh, lag, but I don't know if it's my phone or just the connection I got okay. right now. We are live now. we got two viewers. That's oh, awesome. great. Awesome. Yep. All right, let me go back to our comments. And this is from Florida. From our YouTube follower Nova Distress 9310. 9310, okay. It says here, hi guys, Merry Christmas from Florida. Well oh. thank you uh, for watching us from Florida and Merry Christmas to you too. It's uh please may I ask a question here? Yes, you may. And you guys if you want to comment a question too or text, that that's cool. That's cool. This here, 
What was the one gift you guys wanted more than anything when you were young? I don't know. What, what, do, you, what do you think, FP? For me? Well, she's asking for both of us. Oh, uh, it's a well, question for both of us. Well, what, would, what did you want when you were young? Um, let's see. Wow. I, uh, going back, when, uh, oh, man. Okay, I'm going to say the best, the, the one thing that I really, really wanted when I was a kid was when um, it first came out, it was the Atari 2600. Okay, and here's and here's how this came about. I was back in the day. Now, whoever's whoever's watching local knows about the Wyoming Valley Mall. Okay, now back then in J C Penney's, they had a it was a, it was different than it, what it is now. In one of their sections, they had an Atari Twenty Six Hundred set up as a demo, so you could play like a game. So whenever you know my mom or dad, you know we have to go to Penny's, I'd be like. It, and it was, I think, it was either Asteroids or Space Invaders. So, that year... Hi, Michael. Uh, I gotta mix it. Hi, Michael. Merry Christmas. Leon, hello. Yep. Yep, I am. I am uh, thank you. I appreciate that. Hello to everyone. Now, that's... Okay, so... What happened was... Christmas morning came down and, and you know... Spoiler for anybody, you know, the kids watch it because I don't want to ruin it for them. But, you know, Santa Claus, you know, come running down the steps. Santa Claus, like, I'm like, oh, Santa Claus came. And, and the one the one present I opened up. And it, well, it was for, like, the set because back then it was, like, it was expensive. It wasn't cheap. Um, so that was, like, the family present for the whole family was the Atari 2600. And I think the first game we got, it, it came with a game. It came with, like, I think it came with Breakout. If I remember, I don't remember, but I think it came up breakout. And uh, we already got our first like, five five views, thank you. And uh, it came with breakout. And it's, uh, yeah, I love autocorrect too. Um, so come running down and, you know, you know like, oh my gosh, it's Atari Toys. So, you know, that we had to hook it up to the TV and we're playing like, you know, the, the, the games and I think we got for for we I think breakout came with it, and then we got um, combat. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was combat. It was combat, um, and it was uh, and it was so we got also we got space invaders and asteroids. Now because back then you know games were like sixty bucks, sixty seventy bucks. God knows how much. Yeah. Um, every birthday or we get another one or two video games, and uh, so yeah, that was probably one of my best best times. And uh, second, my other well gift I was I was I was fifteen, and this was an unexpected unexpected gift. And uh, here. Back when my dad was, before my dad got sick, he was the general manager of a local car dealership. Well, he picked up and he brought it home. It was going to be our, you know, the father's son. It was a 77 Camaro Z. That was, that was sweet. Um, but unfortunately, it, things had to, yeah, it, long story behind now, and I'll tell you that in, a, in another segment. But, okay, so second part of the question well, what was yours, FP? You didn't answer the question. Well, mine was similar to yours, cause, but it was a little bit older. Or not older, I should say, more modern. It was the Sega, Sega Saturn CD. It was the attachment for the Sega console. Okay. That you could, you could play CD games. On, and my favorite game was out at the time was Echo the Dolphin. Echo the Dolphin. It was an awesome game back then. Now, what was the one... Okay, wait, no, I did. Were any of your Christmases disappointing? If so, if so... Why? Well, yeah. Um, so if, if I get a little choked up, guys, it's this was disappointing. Um, actually, 33 years ago on December 20th, my, my dad passed away. And we buried him Christmas Eve morning. So, yeah, that, that was my most disappointing uh, 
disappointing uh, Christmas. That was that was really tough. Um, he died December twentieth of a massive heart attack. We buried him Christmas Eve morning. So yeah, that's that was my most disappointment disappointing yeah. Christmas ever. Um, have you ever sp have uh, ever spent Christmas in a warm climate? No, oh. I've always been PA. How about UFP? Well, I I live in multiple states. I've lived in Florida and Las Vegas, so I've been in the warm for a while. Okay. Um, is there anything particular about Christmas in Pennsylvania? Um, anything particular about Christmas in Pennsylvania? I've been living here since day one, so <laughs> the cold. Um, but here's uh, every you know. I know now we get older, we, you know, probably curse Chris. You know, we curse the snow and, oh, damn cold and everything like that. Um, I know my GF hates the winter because it affects, uh, my GF has some health issues and the cold really, really just messes it up. Um, so, but, uh, <laughs> I like, I like to see on Christmas Eve, um, Oh, Merry Christmas. Oh, someone said Merry Christmas, Molly. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas to you too, guys. Oh, that's Ryan. How you doing, Ryan? Ryan. Um, uh, I like to see snow fall for Christmas Eve. Let's have snow on Christmas Day. Then the day after Christmas, let, the, let a lot of shit melt and go away. Um, but now the car I got this year has an automatic, has a remote car starter. So I just... Oh, so you can start um, from here. So yeah, I can just... Boom. Um, okay. Christmas food you hate that everyone else loves. Thank you, guys. Barb. Well, Barb, a.k.a. Nova Distress. Um, Christmas food you hate. Huh. Oh, um. Oh, man. Okay, I'm going to have to say I hate cranberry sauce. I don't like cranberry well, sauce. I, I think I got one to top. Not that I'm trying to top it, but I know everybody usually has this for Christmas, and it's like a staple part of the meal. I can't stand ham. I don't eat ham. I don't eat ham how, meat. How? Wait. I can't wait. Stand SP, it. I never knew this from. Oh, uh -uh. check out Sport and none of that coffee bullshit T-shirt. Get it on the shop zone. Um, and I know how, everybody. Oh, let's have a Christmas how, ham. How? No. How could you not like ham? Oh, why do you think I gave you that big chunk I did a while ago? Maybe because you had too much and you, and you were being I a nice guy. Don't eat it. Oh, okay. All right, so we just found out something new about FP. He hates ham. Um, actually, the GF who was here last week, she can't be here this week because she is taking care of she got the flu. Um, oh, yeah, fruitcake. Yeah, f I don't do fruitcake either. Yeah. Um, oh, Massachusetts. Jacob, thank you. Uh, no coffee under the tree for me. All right. Nice. You need, you need to get a shirt and become a no coffee bullshit club. We got to start a club. And you can be the president. Um... Thank you for everyone who watches up in Massachusetts. Now, again, we're going to... Let's see. I'm trying to figure out... Bluetooth, ready for connection. All right, we're, so we're going to hopefully... Bluetooth, connected. Get the phones going. 570-776-4648 is the number to call us today. Join us, be a part of the show. Um, here, what I could do is... Turn my volume down on this phone. I got an old phone I could still... It's not in search, but I can still connect to the internet through Wi-Fi. Um, that way I could actually answer your guys' questions probably a little bit better because I could see um, if I can figure out how to do it. Uh, let's see. I'm monitoring the chat, too. I'm oh, okay you, monitor, okay. you monitor the chat. That's yeah, cool. All right, you, you can monitor the chat. Um, here, let me see how it looks on the... Could be the okay, internet yeah. connection I have because I'm not connected to the Wi-Fi. Okay, gotcha. All right. Um, so, oh, okay. So, yeah, give us a call. And now, tonight it's an open platform, but we're going to... Come on up, Molly. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Molly, go. Come on, Molly. Go on come the here. camera. Everybody wants to see. There come she on. is. There's Molly. There she is. Molly wants to say hi. Merry Christmas, everybody, too. Uh, well, oh, I'm going to attack my big puppy. Oh, okay. Good girl. Um, now, here's, Look, Molly, here's, uh, oh. okay. here, <laughs> she gets overexcited. All right, Molly, relax. 
Good girl. Now, here's here starts out. Here was my tradition. Well, our family's tradition years and years ago. Okay. Every year, well, when my when my dad was alive and my, my aunt was alive, my dad's sister, we were growing up. We would have the Holy Supper one year at my house, one year at my relative's house. And we it would, it would, we would, uh, you know, back and forth. Um, so the tradition that we would have for Friday, because we're, we're, cons we're considered Catholic. And I, I don't know what I consider myself anymore, but you know, we, we followed the Catholic. Yeah. So there was, uh, it would be a meatless, meatless dinner. So fish, which I didn't eat. I, I, back then I was not a fish person. That could be another maybe food. I didn't like fish. Go back to the food question. Uh, cause my mom always said, you know, Watch out for the might get a bone. Watch out for it because it had the fish, but it had the might had a bone here and there. So we do the fish, pierogi, um, you know, mashed potatoes, coleslaw. Uh, my dad would make his mushroom gravy. Oh, it's so good. I I never got the recipe. My oldest sister has it. She's she's making it this year. So we would do the. We would do the you know the, the meatless dinner and uh, we it, it was just nice you know spending time with the family because you really don't see you really don't see any you don't really don't see family a lot anymore even well back then so now for we would go to that's me okay we would go to <laughs> midnight mass oh yeah where can we go to midnight mass so. While, and the church that we went to was just literally 10 minute, 15 minute walk from, from my old house. So we walked to midnight mass, me and my mom, my two sisters, and my dad would start cooking the ham. So by the time church was done, you come home and you'd be like, oh, hey, your favorite ham. Yeah, the whole house um, smells so, like ham. And, uh. Let me, did your dad cook it with seven up? No. 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 Okay. We uh, he always did, and what I do to this day is, um, all right, seven of you are watching right now. Thank you. Two thumbs up. Beautiful. Thank you. Call us. Be a part of the show. Five seven zero seven seven six four six four eight is the number. Uh, Rob G, you said you're gonna call in, buddy. Don't disappoint me. He texted me earlier. He's he's out having some beer with the boys. He's like, oh, I'll call in at some point. Oh, cool. Yeah, call and tell us what. We'll we'll get a uh, out and about. On about report from Bob G if he calls in. Yeah, that's um, cool. It's uh You're not getting my teeth. So yeah, so so we come home and I'd be like, cause one of the Catholic traditions is from uh you'd you'd fast from Ash Wednesday to Christmas Eve. Um my mom and my mom did never. My mom never pushed it. Like like she'd ask us not to eat meat on Ash Wednesday, and on 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 you know Good Friday. Good Friday. Yeah. So. So uh, but we come home and right after we, like literally, not too long after we got home, the ham was done and like, me and my dad and my dad be like, who wants some ham? And we're like, hey, I, I love ham. Like I said, I can't wait to do mine. I got a twelve pounder. Ooh. I got a twelve pounder. When I was at Garrity's. They had half a ham for, like, uh, it was about nineteen bucks, nineteen ninety five, for a whole other twenty. It's like for like five bucks more, like shit. I just get the whole some bitch. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So. Before. We went to bed. Because you know Santa Claus was coming. We were allowed to open one parent because there was gifts from my mom and dad yep. and then there were the Santa Claus presents so we would uh, be able to open one gift before we went to bed and then you know we went to sleep we would you know then you know Santa Claus would come and then come down you know you run downstairs morning there's like you know pff, gifts galore um I had I had a really good childhood growing up you know like we had my dad loved Christmas and here's what he would do, okay, to make it to make it more in, in, into it. To this day, I don't know how he pulled it off. 
But he would go out, and when the snow wasn't, he'd go out in the morning, he'd go out and um, make lines like like the sled led, led like in the backyard. Okay. And he'd go out and he'd put like, not like supposed to be reindeer hoofs, like tracks. And uh, you know, I'd come down, he'd be like, oh, oh, you know, Santa stopped by and we were sitting at the table talking. I was talking to Santa Claus and he said how much of a good boy. And so, you know, I'm a little kid going, why'd you wake me? Well, you know, nope, he comes when you're sleeping and, you know. And that and he, my dad really loved to play the part. He did a and, good uh, job, it seems. He did, yeah. Now you know when we get older, you find like you know, there's no, you know, you know, spoiler alert. <laughs> but uh, growing up, uh, growing up, I got to You know, it was, it was, it was a good, it was a good Christmas, and uh, now to this, to this day. You know, do I, Marcus, uh, your dad? Your dad was a great guy. Oh, yeah. yes. Yes, I agree yep. with that. Yeah, he, uh, uh, here, my, my, say hi. Say hi. Um, yeah, he was, he loved, you know, he was, back then in the seven. well, in the 70s and 80s, he passed away in 90. But he felt that he didn't, he didn't want my mom to work. He wanted to be the one that worked, took care of, the, you know, he was he was the breadwinner. That's how he wanted it to be. And, uh, but he, he busted his ass doing it. Um, if you go on my playlist, of, if you go on my playlist of Outside the Box, in this playlist on YouTube, uh, you can see, it's called the Howard Isaac commercials. He did commercials back, back in the 80s. Um, That's pretty cool. Yeah. So guys, check, I'll, I'll, when I do the replay, when we put up, if I remember, I'll put the link in the description yeah. for the replay. But yeah, he, uh, and it, it's cool to watch now to this because like, you know, a brand new car was like you know fifty five hundred bucks for a brand new car back back in the eighties, and uh, and he was the general manager, so that's how he ended up getting a Camaro for you know years later, was because. Somebody, you know, had a family, had to trade it in. They needed, like, you know, a family van. Like, because the, the Voyagers just came out. The yeah. Voyager minivans. And, uh, they traded this Camaro. So he's like, boom, boom, took it. Not, so this is going to be, like, my first car. And, okay, the reason why he got rid of it was because he was afraid it was going to wrap around a telephone pole. <laughs> um, because it wasn't the standard 350 engine. It was a modified 400. So he didn't have it. He just bought it, got it, brought it home, threw it in our garage, and, you know, Merry Christmas. So it had the 400 four-barrel posi oh. glass packs. I mean, this thing, it didn't have any T-tops. It had a full roof, no no decals, but it was it was a Z28. This thing, it had the posi rear end. Molly, what the hell are you doing? It had the posi rear end. It was jet black with a tan interior. This car back then probably would have been one of the fastest cars downtown at that time. Yeah. Um, and he, he, was, he was afraid that if I ever... I'm like, oh, I won't race. You know, you get a kid with... And yeah, oh, yeah, okay, come on. Not saying I would, not saying I would. We're just going to, you know, keep it at that. But, um, yeah, he he took it to work one down the side just to, just to, blow, out the, just to blow out the carburetor. And when he hit hit the gas and that and that carb opened up and it like pushed him back, he's like, oh. yeah, I drove it like twice. I got to drive it around. We you know threw it to the end. Back then he could get away with stuff like that because my dad knew all the cops, you know, mm -hmm. back in the back in the. So if we got most likely could talk him, you know. Anyway, but yeah, Christmas. Uh, yeah, I, I like now. Do I now again? Okay, yeah, no, I don't believe in Santa Claus. But I still, yeah, I know. But I still believe in the spirit of Christmas. You know, it's it's still right here, and you know, it's just tomorrow night. Which I don't. Are we gonna do a live tomorrow for Christmas Eve? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Um, it's a, uh, you know, every year I'll cook my ham, <laughs> and uh. I'll watch 24... I'll start watching 24 Hours of a Christmas Story on TBS. Oh, yeah. And I will sit here. 
I will drink a hot cup of cocoa. That's my that is my yearly. I think I have to go buy cocoa. I don't have any. I have to go buy some. I got I cocoa at the house. Um, that is my yearly thing I do. Now, come the present time, we, my sister always has Christmas breakfast, so we'll go over for Christmas breakfast. We'll exchange gifts over there between everybody. And then, my, that was my old, now my oldest sister, I'll go over to her house for dinner. So, literally, I just cook a ham for the week, because I'm eating, morning I'm eating one's house, and then I'm eating another house. So, uh. But yeah, guys, I, I want to hear your traditions. Give us a call. 570-776-4648 is the number to join us tonight. Um, but, uh... Now, okay, I remember back in the day, which we talked about this once earlier, but I'm going to bring it up again in one of our past shows. Christmas time. Mid eighties, um, the Cabbage Patch doll came out, oh, no. and yeah, and what happened was, now I'm going back pre Walmart. Now Kmart was around, but it was the pre Walmart's. Uh, it was called Zares. Zares was located in, if anybody again who's local, in the and it's over in the East End Shopping Center. Uh, it's where Raymore and Flanagan is now. Next to it, it was uh, the Sunshine Market. Next to it was theirs. So they had this major, like, people went crazy for these Cabbage Patch dolls to a point where it turned into a big right now. I'm sure if you search online and search Cabbage Patch Kid, uh, Cabbage Patch Kids uh, uh, Riot in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, or something to that effect, you'll probably find it. There'll probably be something about it. I wouldn't be surprised. I'd be surprised if there wasn't. People were like, literally, if you, if you have, people were like stealing out other people's carts if they couldn't find. It. Like it was knocking people over, grabbing like if a van they come and grab it out of your hand and run. It was bad. Yeah. All for this doll. Now, also like what I like to get as presents back in the day. Is uh, I I love Star Wars. You know, grew up with Star Wars. I had the Star Wars toys. I had the Millennium Falcon, the Ad At. Oh yeah. Um, Slave One, the Death Star. If uh, if my my parents tried to give us you know everything we wanted. Now of course we didn't always get everything, and there's sometimes that just you know it it just could not it was not obtainable because it was a hot item couldn't get it. Okay, but uh, I remember one year. Um, excuse me, my my nose. I apologize. Um, yeah, I don't like to lie, but all right, sorry. One one of the years I got was an erector set, which was pretty cool. Oh, okay. It are you familiar with the erector set? You could build stuff with them. Yeah, it was like it looked like little metal thing, like yep. thing with, and you built stuff. Well, I would make, uh, and, and it's funny because what I would do, I and you, like you could build like. So what I would do, I'd make like a spaceship, and I use the tires to be like would be like like the it would look like you know for the engine in the back, and I'd pretend that I'd fly this thing around, the like throughout yeah. the area, like technically. Pre, it was, and I'm sitting back going, why the hell didn't I jump on this? And I'm thinking, I'm like, my dumbass, a drone. Basically, I thought of a drone before a drone was even, because I pretend I'd be on my computer, like I pretend I had a computer. I'd fly this thing around, going, like pretend I was flying around the neighborhood and stuff, you know, this, this, this little thing I made with my erector set. That's pretty cool. And yeah, so I technically thought of a drone. Before a drone was even thought of. I'm like, son of a bitch, why did I think of that? Um, all from just a little childhood, you know, toy set. Yeah, just daydreaming. Um, yeah, just... Um, hmm. So, yeah, so some things like... So, if you have any ideas, in back... Well, they might have been figured out now, but... Uh, 
look at look at you know phones. Phones are just not phones anymore. Phones are like, hmm. um, what? Phones are like uh, phones, computers, video cameras, tell you know cameras. Pretty much anything. Pretty much everything all in one, which is pretty cool in my book. Okay, um, so I'm right. Okay, I'm hoping. Guys, call in or, or even comment a question. Like, we want your questions. We want to hear what's going on. Rice pudding. Oh, that's you. That's me. Rice pudding without raisins. Yeah. Who would put raisins in rice pudding? I've seen it happen. Oh, yeah, no. No, 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 no. Like cinnamon? Yes. Yeah. Raisins? Well, I don't like raisins. That's not I don't like. I never liked raisins. Me neither. Um, now it's... uh. Yeah, it's like, ah. Uh, five so, people watching, it says. Yep, and we still, we're still showing two likes. Cool. It's. Do you guys travel? Who has that? Travel. Marcus. What, 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 Marcus, what do you mean by travel? Like, for what? Be a little bit more. Yeah. Be a little more specific. Because we go a lot of places. I mean, that's traveling, huh? Now, have I gone to, like, travel for, like, Christmas? Like, uh, to my relatives? No. no. <laughs> like, I, I have relatives out of town, which... I sent them a link via Messenger. I don't know if they're watching or not. Um, but, no, like, I have relatives out in, in the Henrietta area of, Ro uh, like, around Rochester, New York. I've never never gone out for, you know, f like, for Christmas. But just to answer your, you know, do, do I travel? Um... Now for when I do, let's see, so for vacation. Oh, oh, travel uh, vacations. Okay, oh. okay, yeah, okay. Um, so to say, for answer to that question, I, uh, you know, I would go. I, I kind of travel like I'll travel like when I do weddings. I'll go like I'll keep myself within an hour, hour and a half radius. Um, so I have been to other areas throughout NEPA to do weddings. And one time, a couple of years ago, I don't know you were. I don't know where you were at that. But I just decided that it was in the summertime. I just said, "What the hell?" Jumped in the car, ran to Jersey to Hot Dog Johnny's. It was only about an hour and twenty minutes, one way. So I ran up to Hot Dog Johnny's, got some hot dogs, got tried their stuff, did a review, came back home. Okay, so all right. So to answer Marcus's um, question. Um, It'd be a yeah for me because I take yeah. the kids places and I consider that vacations. Yeah. Now, what? See, my dad, like I said, my dad liked to, my dad worked like literally six days a week. Um, so where a lot of dads like on Saturdays would take their, their, their sons like fishing or hunting. I never had that. Um, my dad worked, you know, Monday through Saturday. So he, because he felt he needed to, you know, so, uh, provide for his family. So what we would do when vacation time rolled around in the summer, that's when, like, he's he would take, usually a, like a week at a time. We would go to, um, the in eighty, eighty seven was our last actual like family vacation, um. We went to Hilton Head Island down in South Carolina. Okay. It's, uh... We would go down to Hilton Head. We did that for, like, three years in a row. And earlier that, we would go to... We went to Bush Gardens. Um, Gettysburg. we go to uh, the battlefields, you know, um, when, I was, when I was younger. Uh, the one thing we went to uh, Bush Gardens, and I don't know if they still have the drive-through safari. They yeah, did years ago. That was a long time. I'm not sure. Yeah. Well, we're driving through, and they always they always they tell you, you know, keep your windows cool. up. Yes. Don't open your windows. Well, halfway through, well, about maybe halfway through, three quarters through, we were going through like where the bat the the baboons. 
Oh. Took his shit out. I see his. He took a whiz. I was like, I'm like, ugh. So like, you know, after the tour, my dad's out there, you know, with paper, take take a clean shit off the car, literally. Um, but yeah, we've. Uh, I've even after you know, as as an older you know, grown up when I was married. I was down. I first time I went to Disney in Florida. That was fun. All right. I was when I got married. I was twenty seven. So, um, we I, we just got married. We drove down to Florida for the honeymoon. Um, we couldn't get actually in the resort itself because it was. But I was able as a, a gift from my older sister and her husband. We got their timeshare, and he got us like it was called Star Island Resort. It was literally like fifteen minutes away from Disney, so it was it was like we were like right there. Yeah. So. I don't know about all you guys, but I grew up Sundays nights watching The Wonderful World of Disney. And uh, so when we, we went to the, we went to the Magic Kingdom first day, we pull in and you could either take the monorail into the Magic Kingdom or ferry boat. Yep. We took the ferry mine, boat. Yeah, I was going to say mine's a ferry boat. I'm Gotta do ferry. the ferry boat. So who's on the who's on the ferry boat with us but Goofy, Chip, and Dale. Well, I'm like a kid. I'm like going, ah, like I'm like, oh my, and, and, you know, it just it just brought back, you know, it was it was just so cool to see like the characters, and then when we got actually into the Magic Kingdom, we walk in and then, well, as we're going around, like the, there's like a little bend there that they that they did like in the water, you can see that then you see the castle in the middle, you know, coming around, and. uh You know, so it's like, like you're seeing, I'm seeing, I'm like, wow, you know, I'm like. And it is a big castle. Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah. You could actually, like, eat, or you could actually stay in that, like, or no, is it. It's like eat. a. It's like a. I think there's a restaurant up there. There but is. There's but, also, like, a very expensive suite that you could And rent you have out. to, like, reserve, and it's, like, a year in advance. Yeah, it's, like, really high class stuff. Yeah. So it's. So we, we, we walk through the gates, and I'm like, like wow. I see, you know, now getting carried, like Dumbo, and I'm like, you know, Winnie the Pooh, and and it was just, it was just so awesome. Now, we had a chance, but I'm like, you know what? No, not doing it. We had a chance to actually take a tour of, see, a lot of people don't realize, when you're walking on, you're walking through Magic Kingdom, <laughs> that's not the ground. There's actually like yeah, a, there's a city, a city below Magic Kingdom that is all the where the computer for the animatronics and everything that you and see. And the workers that's, come up through the port. They just don't appear magically. I mean, the kids think that happens, but those doors that they go in that leads to a hallway. They're all, they're all secret stairs. panels throughout the park where all of a sudden, all of a sudden, boom! There's a character. Yeah, um, that's your section. That's where you go. So we could have me and my well, my wife. It's my ex-wife now. My wife at the time. We could have done a tour, and, go, and I'm like, you know what? Cause I, I mean, yeah, I know it's, but I don't want to, I don't want to ruin the magic. Yeah. You know, they, it, I'm like no, um, but I could have, but I, but I, I, I didn't want to. Um. Then the year after, in two thousand three, I got married in two thousand three. I went to uh, Dollywood, down in Tennessee, and that was really neat. I mean, I'm not a big Dolly Parton fan. I don't, no, I don't, it's not that I hate Dolly Parton music. I never, but going down there and it literally tells the story of her, her life growing up. I, I found, I have more respect for Dolly Parton for what she went through. And they, they rebuilt the replica of her, of her house that she actually lived in, in Pigeon Forge. No, did she live in Pigeon Forge or Seaverville? I think Pigeon Forge. Um, and it was just like, literally like a, one or two room shack, uh -huh. and uh, you know every every Christmas, I think it's Christmas, or oh, did she did, oh, crap I can't remember. She does a parade, and when she's there, she stays actually. There's a in one of the sections of the park, in one of the, they, she has an apartment up on top, huh. so she could be there watching. And you wouldn't even know it. It, um. But uh, it that was. 
she literally went when I mean when we talk about poor today, you know, it's like oh I don't have a, a cell phone or maybe I don't have a laptop. Back then, man, she was poor where like she couldn't afford to buy like her clothes, like coats or like she that was poor. And the story about you know that I that I heard wrote wrote like after she started making her money. Well, what's Dollywood now was just a little rinkety amusement park with maybe a couple rides. She bought it, expanded it, and, and brought jobs to her. Put, literally put her area on the map. Huh. Got gave people jobs, you know, and it was you know she did a very Dolly Parton, you know, she did a really really good thing for the, her her town for her, yeah. where she grew up. Um, I like some of her movies. Don't get me wrong. But as lately for vacations, though, Marcus, um, that's my really last vacation. Vacation was was Dollywood back in '03. Marcus says Dollywood has a great roller coaster, supposedly. Um, that could be. Yeah. Now, I mean, back then it was. Now it's um, there's more now than there was when I was well, there. It turns in, out it was three. But it was Cooters. Cooters were down Tennessee Museum, Museum went into in Gatlinburg. Gatlinburg. So and as we're going it into was Gatlinburg, open, so we pull up. There is in the window, a, and I can see, see you know the General uh, Lee little uh, garage. There was a, a patrol car, little, Boss Hogg's white Cadillac. Right hand side, but it, was it wasn't closed. open. Though. I was like, damn. Well, um, but when we went into Gatlinburg, the stars, which was really neat too. I think I have that on video somewhere, somewhere on the disc. I have to see if I can look and get it. See if I can get it up online on the on the channel. Um, but it had the, back then it was, they had the, uh, I don't want to go to Dollywood there. Okay. Um, they had the, at the time it had, you walk in, you could see the, back then, you know, the Flintstone movie was with, uh, John Goodman played Fred Flint. Well, the, the Flintstone, like, you know, the car. Yeah. They had that there. They had the DeLorean from Back to the Future. They had, uh. You know, the Batmobile, not from the TV series, but from the uh, the movies. The movie. Right. Um, Michael Keaton. Um, they had, for those who watched uh, Andy Griffith, they had the, you know, Don Knotts' patrol car. They had the first Smoking Abandoned Trans Am. Um, they know that you hear, you know, making your, and turn, you know, they're, you know, they, they generally, but yeah, it's, uh, that was cool. Then we went into um, uh, uh, it was a, an aquarium, and I can't remember the name of it, but there was an aquarium, and that and that was cool because like you just stood on the thing, and it like almost like you know like the Jetsons where it would the the, the floor it was like on a conveyor. I was like, yeah, cool. Walk through, you know. Did I gotta see? I gotta go through my archives and see if I could find that video. Um, Cars of the even if I just could get like cars of the star, that was cool. Um, uh, but yeah, they, they were, you know, I can't, I don't, well, yeah, you know, nobody wants to, you know, get married and get divorced, but I, I don't regret, you know, it, when it was good, it was good, and then when it was bad, it, you know, it just, it, it fell apart. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, it does. It does, but it's, uh, Going well, back to GF now. Huh? You know, oh yeah, yeah. You know. Um, it's uh, but going back. I don't. I don't miss my ex-wife. <laughs> it was a happy divorce. Right. It's uh. Marriages are complicated. They are. <laughs> but, I said I I've been from. Oh, I also, years ago I went up to New Hampshire and visited a friend up in New Hampshire. So I've been from like New Hampshire. To Rochester to down to uh, you know Florida. I didn't. I we didn't get to Universal. I never hit Universal. Uh, now the GF's been to Universal. She was there uh, last year. Um, I stayed home and watched the dogs. Uh, I had missed her jingles. Um, but uh, let's see. I mean, Marcus, if you could, if you have a shot to go to Dollywood, take it and run because it is it is beautiful down there. Going into the Smoky Mountains, mm. I mean, we didn't hit the hole. We just went up like maybe a couple miles in. Smokies were beautiful. Um, 
me and the GF talked if we ever go back. Which, yeah, that could happen. Who knows? Um, she's like, we have to, you have to rent a log cabin to stay in. I'm like, well, is it really a log cabin? Or does a log cabin look like with the modern convenience of home? She goes, yeah. I'm like, well, that's not camping out. You know, that's not camping out. But no, that'd be, that'd be cool. Or if we ever went back to Disney... You know, mm-hmm. to stay in, like, Animal Kingdom where, like, literally, like, you could have, like, a giraffe walk by your, your window. That'd be cool as hell. Um, so, guys, gals, give us a call. Say hi. Tell us, you know, your your Christmas traditions. You know, we, I've been talking here for almost uh, 45 minutes. But I want to hear from you guys. Bob G., you know, give us a... You know, hit us up. Where, where are you at? What's what's the scooper you're at? Um, remember, was Nick from Iowa first caller we ever got? Nick was it Nick from Iowa? New Jersey. New Jersey. Nick from New Jersey. And then there's Matt from Iowa. Okay, yeah, Nick was from New Jersey. Um, guys, if you know now, okay, it, it is twenty. It, they could be, you know, they could have stuff going on, which which is understandable. So they'll hopefully everybody catches on the replay. Yeah. Now, uh, I don't know if Pete. What What about you? Like, what What are your favorite traditions? Oh, just we opened one a present the night before. Usually, that's what we just do. from the family, like you guys said. And oh, well, when I was a kid, it was, it was different. Now, then, because like some of my family has passed on, right. so it's like, eh. So harder to celebrate. I yeah, just do it for the kids. Yeah, yeah. You know, make so their... who's are, are, so? What are you cooking for? Uh, <laughs> oh, Christmas dinner. Yeah, actually, what, what... <clears throat> tomorrow tomorrow night or Christmas dinner, New Year's Eve dinner. No, New Year's Eve is next week. I mean, yeah, <laughs> the night before Christmas, Christmas Eve dinner. That's what I tomorrow. Meant. Yes, tomorrow we're having. Uh, I went up to Sam's Club. I went shopping last month at Sam's Club. We're having, I'm going to make some beautiful pork chops. They're about that thick. Oh. They're huge. Literally, he's They're going huge. like, he's going, he's They're going huge. like this, you can't see it, but he's going like this. So they, they must be I, some like really thick I'm defrosting ass. them actually right now. But yeah, we're going to have that. We're going to probably make some, maybe a green bean casserole and, I don't know. Unfortunately, some cranberry sauce probably in there. Yeah. Now... I know for our Christmas, like, well, I said Christmas Day now, I'll go over to my older sister's house, <laughs> and, you know, they'll do the, the typical breakfast. Eggs, um, you know, waffles. They make waffles. They have a waffle maker, so they'll make eggs, waffles. Um, there's, uh, I forget the name of it. It's not a scone, but it's my, my brother-in-law... It's from his side of the family. It's you have to actually buy a specific pan to do this, and it looks like it's actually like pancake batter, but they're little like they're about maybe like oh. this. It begins with an S, and I cannot remember it, saying my a life. It's scone, I think. Um, I thought it was called. It could be called, but I thought it was called something else. As scope scover, I don't know. Anyway, you could put like he'll he'll do like he'll usually do like a dozen. He'll do six with like. Dark chocolate, like, yeah. But then he'll do like six with white chocolate, and when that comes out, oh, is it so good? Um, he we didn't he didn't do it like because he was he was away in Qatar. He was he was on assignment in Qatar. So last year he wasn't with us. So this year he's he's back with us. Glad to have him back home, and uh, he's gonna make these 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 things. But yeah, you actually need a specific kind of pan, pan to yeah. do it because the yeah. And then you after you you take and then you you flip them, and uh, it's like it's like pancake pancake batter, with whatever you want to put in it. He usually does chocolate chip or white chocolate. Oh man, it's so good! When it comes out, you know you bite it, it's just like the chocolate just melts in your mouth. It's like oh yeah, those are those are good. Um, Oh, Marcus Prime Rib. Oh, that sounds Ooh, good. Now that's a good choice. Yeah, that sounds. Oh, we're back up to five people watching. Thank you. Um, mm. Yeah. So, 
I think I might season my pork chops with some like lime juice or lime or lemon. I don't know which one. I'm I trying. do lemon. Lemon sounds pretty good. Yeah. Well, lime sounds good too. But all right, guys. FP wants to know. Give us your thoughts. Should he, should he dress the pork chops with lemon or lime juice? Let him know. Give him your, give him your opinion. Yeah. Um. It's uh. Okay, so. So you know, and also in the in the morning, we'll have kibasi. Love kibasi. Um, I'm part Polish. So I love kibasi. Uh, so that evening, I'll go over to my oldest sister's house, and you know she's doing a ham too. So it'll be ham kibasi again. So like, I don't buy kibasi because I eat it all day anyway. Um, so. But yeah, it's even though you know we're you know we're adults now, and you know still I still I still enjoy Christmas. You know, my uh, well my my Christmas present. Not that I was looking to do it, but uh, my Christmas present is my my new K five, my twenty three K five, because my launcher got hit, and yeah, that was a whole that was a oh, yeah. um, I got my driver's side got caved in. The guy pulled out. Drive. He was parked driver's side curb. Pulled out, didn't see me, and oh, oh. Uh-oh. Oh, the Bluetooth is on, is it? Hello? Hello, hello. Hey, hey, who, hey. Yo, what, yo, what up, who this, who this? It's, you got Jay here with FP? This. Oh, this is, uh, this is Rob. Sounds like, I would say it sounds like Bob G. Yep, Rob, what's going on, buddy? Nothing but I wanted to uh, say hello and uh, wish you uh, both a uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. You too. Thank you very what, much. Are you out and about? What's what's the scoop? What, what's going on out and about? I am out and about. Yeah, I am out and about for the evening. I'm at a buddy's house watching the bubble game. Okay. How how's, how's do you remember? Do you remember a guy named Gary Jones? Yeah. Yeah, I do. He's here with me. Oh, what's up? Hi, Gary. How you been? He said hello. He said he's doing great. Awesome. He's Beautiful. Good. Beautiful. Um, so, so what are you, what are, uh, what are you guys up to? What's the topic of conversation? A little bit of, you know, Christmas traditions from days of old to current. You know, how things change. Uh, we're talking about, we had a question. One of us were talking about... Uh, us it's about like vacation, so we're talking a little about going on vacations. Um, you know. Oh, nice! I was know. just in uh, Punta Cana. Where the Hua? Punta Cana, Dominican Republic. Oh, oh, nice, nice. Yeah, me and my uh, me and my good buddy Danny were for his fiftieth birthday. Nice. How was it? Yeah, we were there for ten. Oh, we were there ten days. Nice. How was the weather? Oh my God, it was gorgeous. The water. I was never in water that I could see my feet in. Oh, the clear water. Oh. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Oh man. Yeah, and the, I will say the Dominican women were absolutely stunning. Oh, yes, they are. Yeah, I like that. You're right, brother. <laughs> but uh, Yeah, it was a good time. It was a lot of fun. Sounds like it. So what, have, Yeah, yeah. So have uh, either of you two gone on any good trips lately? No. <laughs> no, not lately, but... I plan on going to um, North Carolina soon, within the next year or so. North Carolina's nice. Yeah, my sister lives down there. Oh, it. no kidding. Does she like it? Yeah, she likes it. Me and the Gotta GF. be better than any day for weather. Me and the GF were thinking about maybe, uh, maybe going... Either going out, not far, but maybe going down to Lancaster for a day, or we were talking about maybe um, going back. Someday we, we want to go back to uh, Dollywood. We we're talking about one of the one of the places I've been. In the, we both been in the past, but uh, right now it's just, how is Dollywood? 
Dollywood was now now again. I'm going back to 2003. I've been there since, and from what I've heard, it's expanded from then. But uh, Dollywood was neat. Um, like I was telling everybody, and if you watch the live, you'll see it on the, the replay. Um, like I, I wasn't a really big Dolly Parton fan. Not that I hated her music or anything. I liked some of her, her movies, but it tells you the sort of how she grew up. Now, when she said she was poor. They had they didn't have two pennies to, to, to rub together poor. Um you know, and then she was able to get break into the you know, singing country music. It tells her it tells how she bought this little rinkety dink amusement park in what is now Dollywood. Um but she gave back to, to a lot of her her, you know, area of creating jobs. She did a lot of a lot of good for everybody. I, I have a lot of respect for her. Um No, that that's great that she gives back to the community. Yeah. And it doesn't hurt that she has very large breath. Well, no, that was a bonus. Well, from what I read, I don't know how true it is. She, like, nobody nobody was, like, I guess booking her. And then she got the boob job, and all of a sudden, she got booked. Um, she did what she had to. See, there's the shot. But, uh. Yeah, I'm glad you called in, Bob. It's it's been a while since we had you know a chance to BS. I know, I know. I uh, as soon as you mentioned uh, that you were taking phone calls, I figured I would uh, give you a shout and see how things were going. Yeah, I'm good. I'm glad you did. Yeah, absolutely. I I have to meet the GF soon. Oh yeah. Well, here's last. If you watched, if you list, if you watched our replay from last week. Um, I did. It's, she was there. She was there, and then she's like, hey, I, I got to go home. Here, it turns out her sister came down with the flu. Her dad got the flu, and they all got the flu, so she's getting over the flu. She was oh, literally geez. sick all week. Oh, that sucks. That's yeah. no fun. Um, so did How they, long have you two been together now? A little over a year, about a year and a half. Nice. Oh, that's half. awesome! You happy? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's great. Everything's good. It's that's uh, good. I'm glad to hear that. You deserve it. It's uh, you know, it. She has her what? past. I have my past, but we, you know, we talk about you know that's how we became now. So you know, we had to go through what we had to go through to get to where we're at today. Literally, basically. Yeah, I think all well, everybody has a past. Yeah. I know I do. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> what's 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 her first name? Karen. Karen. Yeah. Because all I've ever heard is yeah. Yeah. So so while we're on topic here, what quick what what uh you know what, what are your what were your Christmas traditions like growing up? Um. So my parents were divorced when I was real young. So we always did uh, Christmas Eve with my mom, and that was super special. Right. You know, and the the the, the bad part, she, she passed away in 2019 on Christmas. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, I, I was just... Yeah, that. that kind of ruined Christmas for me. Yeah. Well, yeah, I was... And I don't know if you caught the beginning of this of, of the tonight's show, but uh, one of the questions someone asked me was, you know, what was my most disappointing Christmas? And my dad died on December twentieth, nineteen ninety. You know, literally, we just you know, we graduated in June, and yes, we did. He passed away in December. Like you know, we buried him. His funeral, we yeah. had, his funeral was Christmas Eve morning. I mean, that's. Christmas can't get any more That's shittier horrible. than that. You know, it's like... Yeah, we but, we spent uh, Christmas Eve in the ICU. Oh, man. And we, my, my mother was a really big baker. And we brought... She would make dozens of cookies. And we wound up bringing them in for all the nurses. Yeah, and we put up a little in her room and it it, 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 it was it was tough 
But now that uh, I have a grandson, he's kind of oh, kind of making good yeah. something again. Yeah, it's I, f- I forget I f- keep forgetting you have a grandson. So yeah, you yeah, have, yeah, you, you have a uh, you have beautiful. so you have a child and a grandchild. I that just still blows my head. Um, yeah, I have a we're daughter. That, we're that old. Um, yeah, I know, right? That's unbelievable. She uh, she actually is finishing up her master's in uh, nursing, and she's now teaching at the University of Scranton. Wow! Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, dude. I don't know where she got that from. Not me. <laughs> Well, that's what they yeah, say there. Uh, our, our kids are just better versions of ourselves. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I hope so. Yeah. Do you, uh, do either of you have any children? Believe it or not, I have five. You have five? <laughs> yes. I, I don't have any. I, I'm, I'm zero. Um, oh, yeah. you didn't have any cable TV, did you? <laughs> Wow, five. Dude, that's a lot. Yeah, I got three boys and two girls, a set of twins. <laughs> oh, wow. What? Uh, what's their ages? Uh, well, one's actually, one just turned 11, one is 12, one is 14, and one, or the girls are now going to be f- 16 in February. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Damn. Junior's birthday is actually yeah. Today. Mine. Oh, is it? Yeah. Mine's actually going to be twenty eight in February. <laughs> wow. Yeah, God go. damn, I'm old. Yeah, I know the feeling. What What, what are your favorite Christmas yeah, foods? Mine. What was that? What do you, What do you usually like? What's your traditional Christmas like dinner? Um, we we always do a turkey. Turkey. But my daughter loves ham. Yes. No. So we we do a ham too. Yeah, that's how my girlfriend like for Christmas like, and first time like cause now we now I always had turkey for Thanksgiving and Christmas was ham, and my GF goes she goes, we do turkey and ham. I'm like, first time I heard it, I'm like turkey on Christmas like like I never that just blew my mind. So I can t- oh, I can tell I, I can tell the GF she's not the only one. Last year for Christmas we no, had no. You tell beef her turkey is great on on Christmas and Day. Beef lo mein. That's what we had last Christmas. Chinese food. Oh, beef lo mein. Oh. Oh, speaking of speaking of I food need for Christmas. Yeah, that's what we had last year. Yeah, well, I do. I kind of dig that. We, well, my grandmother passed away a year before, so I kind of fell out of the tradition of making, like, a normal food. So I just made, we got Chinese food, we ordered it out. Hey. It's, uh, hey, that's awesome. That is, that's cool. Oh, I, I'm I saw, sorry that you lost her. That sucks. Yeah, it happens. It's, uh, really quick. You, you commented on my, on my one comment. I went to the Outer Limits Diner today. And, uh... Uh, you know, bro, I wish you would have texted me. I live right near it. Well, here's here's what here's what's going down. Um, they're going on they're going on vacation. They're not going to come back until they're going on vacation for the holiday. They're going to be closed. They're coming back first, like like back in January third or Jan like January. Yeah. Within the next couple weeks from that, they're going to have their grand opening. They didn't have they just didn't have their like grand opening yet. So they're gonna let me. No, know. they did like a soft opening. Right, that's what she was telling me. So they're gonna do a full opening, like a grand opening. I'm gonna go back, and I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a like. So I did the, I did the video for the the review. But we're gonna go back. Yeah. I'm gonna do a live a live session. From them, from from there, and we're gonna. I'm gonna help them try and blow out the word. Nice. Oh, that's cool. That'll definitely help with business. Oh, yeah. And uh, where did I go? Now, you're going to be seen on YouTube for the next week. All the videos I have left that I didn't put up yet, they're all going up, except for the, the Outer Limits one. That's going to be first for 24. Um, yeah, oh, you're, that's you're gonna awesome. See, you're going to see another, like, five or six, seven videos coming out within the next week. Um, 
That's good. I listen. I enjoy the videos, man. They're entertaining. I got some. I got some home cooking shows coming up now. I got back doing kitchen stuff. But oh yeah, that's good, man. You're keeping busy. I'm glad to hear it. I'm trying anyway. Got to keep the legacy going, no, brother. Dude. One of these times you're doing a, you're just doing a review. I'd love to meet you. Yeah, I'll. I want to go. There's a place. Oh, and you might before you go. There's a plate that I want to hit, you know, not until 24 next year, but it's over in the Wilkes-Barre Walmart. It's in that, it's in that, uh, um, the hell you want to call it? Shopping center. I forget the name of it, but it's something they do. They they took ramen ramen noodles and made like dinners out of it. Oh, I see. Um, I forget the name, but I'm definitely. Oh, if, it, if it's the plate. Bro, if it's the place I'm thinking about, I heard their bow buns are amazing. One of my one of my uh, f- my Facebook followers sent me a picture. Said you got to try this place out, and the picture what she she sent looked delicious. Now the GF won't go with me, um, so yeah, because she doesn't like. Dude, I, I I'm gonna be honest with you. I've been wanting to go there. Well, I'll tell you what. Right after the first of the year. We'll set up when you're not working on the weekend. We'll go. We'll do a review. For sure. I heard, like I said, I heard their bow buns are amazing. But, hey, I want to, I hope. Yeah, dude, I'm in. I will definitely do it. I I will text you when I'm, when I'm setting up to go that we we can make a date. and We'll go. All right. Sounds like a plan, brother. All right. Hey, Merry Christmas to your family, to Gary's family. And if I don't hey, see Happy New you, Year. Same to you. And uh, your partner in crime there, same to him. I hope he has a good holiday. That BFP. And you tell your GF I want to meet her. Oh, she already knows. I'm like, got to meet Bob. You got to meet Bob. <laughs> um, but yeah. Yeah. All right, All right guys. You, you take well, care. You, you gentlemen have a good rest of your evening. You too. Have a good night. Bye, right, brother. Right. Be good. Bye. Bye-bye. Well, that was Bob G, an old friend of mine from high school, and I'm glad the actual speaker worked this time. Yes, no more technical difficulties. But what I did was I think I did, I just before he called, I just refreshed it. I think that helped. But, yeah. So, yeah, that's Bob G. He, I'd known him from junior high school back in the day. Fly guy. Uh, Who's that? Who's oh, no. One, one, yeah, I want to fly. He's like. Wait, if you're Polish and Catholic, Christmas Eve is... Fi- yeah, fish pierogies. We didn't do French fries. Um, I don't remember if we did shrimp or not. Uh, but my instead of doing the French fries, my mom would make, you know, the mashed potatoes. and um, Yeah, I'm a legend right now in my own mind. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, someday. Someday I'll get legendary status. Maybe. Who knows? But if I don't, that's cool, too, because... Doing these shows every weekend, every Saturday, I, you know, me and FP were talking off camera. Something we like doing every week, and we want to keep it going. Yeah. I um, look forward to doing these shows. Hopefully, I'm looking to get, maybe after the new year, or, or after Christmas, see how much I'm making Christmas money. I want to get a laptop, so I don't have to use both the camera and the camera. I can just do the laptop, plug that into the laptop. So, because... Then there'd be less uploading. Well, well, that that too, but uh, like if you look on how we're looking at on YouTube now, like I'm looking like like this mm-hmm. where it's, it's out. Yeah, I hate that. That's why I always just put up the replay because it looks I like it. I like it more better. You get more in the picture. Um, now on this on the settings it said I could do horizontal, but then when I did it, it wouldn't let me go live. So I don't know. Oh. Sorry to take it off horizontal. I just got a text from Bob. Thanks for having me. Yeah, hey, you're always welcome, brother. You are always welcome to come on the show. Oh, and actually, what I wanted to do uh, when you when you can, even well in the summertime, have like um, out and about with Bob G. Give us, you know, where you're at. Hey, you know, if you're here, there, you know, what's going on. Um, be like our, our weekly newscaster guy on the on, on the streets with Bob G. There you go. There you. I don't know. I'm just saying. That'd be kind of cool. Um, but yeah, uh, that was great to hear from Bob G. Again, 
again, here's here's the number. 570-776-4648. Call us, be a part of the show. You know, it's uh we just hit our hour mark, so we won't be on too much longer. But you know, give us a call. Maybe we'll be live tomorrow night for the maybe we'll do cocoa. Maybe I'll bring over some hot cocoa if you can get um, the story. Santa oh, because wait, tomorrow night we'll 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 the we'll go online the the, the Santa will will track Santa. Oh yeah, we gotta do this. Yeah, we meant that. That's right, yeah, we're yeah, talking. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, tomorrow night we will be going live tomorrow night to do at some point, probably around the same time, nine ish. A little after nine ish. Um because, yeah, we want to do the, the, the Santa, the Christmas Eve. Because also, I'll be cooking. Oh, it's going to reek in here. It's going to smell so bad, childhood memories. I can't believe you don't like ham, FP. I, I, I was forced to eat it when I was a kid, and I... You were forced. It, you were, did, did someone put a gun and say, you better eat this ham? No, well, no not a gun. No, I know. My grandmother was even worse than a gun, though. She, it was her way or no way. Eat the <laughs> ham, Jay. I would be like, yeah. Um, I said I, I when I went to Garrity's a couple of days ago, I got my ham, and uh, there were half hams for like nineteen bucks. I got a Hatfield, and Marcus says we sh you should do a life cooking show. We've done that in the past. Well, I don't know. If no, it was I live. have never done. Cause it was pre-recorded. Yeah, because I can get in there with the camera and. Said, um, I gotta figure out how to, how to pull it off. Cause like, like I said, I don't like how it, I don't like on the phone, I don't like how it looks on YouTube. Cause it looks like, you know, just like, 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 and, and I hate that. I think you can switch. There has to be a way to switch that. Well, I, I, I went into the settings and went hor or like horizontal, but it wouldn't let me go live. So I don't know if I just, if I, I don't know, I have to figure it out. Um, but I mean, that'd be like awesome to do so I could like actually look like you know but maybe maybe I'll hope maybe I'll buy a laptop after after you know the new year's and uh cuz I'm I'm doing some out some major OT in January plus the taxes I'll I'll buy I I not not a you know major big just it's not no for just so where I could stream I connect to the Wi-Fi we could stream the show yeah and uh yeah, that would be that would be pretty cool. Um, yeah, it was great to hear from Bob G. Bob, um, that was a nice, nice call. And I'm glad that the speaker worked this time. I was like, yeah, it worked. Um, so yep, we had. Uh, so as we just do a do a just do a a, a, a rewind. Um, Barb from Florida, Texas. She commented. She asked us the questions, which was cool. Uh, you know, we had our comments in the chats. I wish you guys would call in, but hey, maybe you're, you know, you've got stuff going on, and you'll catch the replay. Um, but again, you know, it, it's I have the laugh too. It's when I went to uh, when I went to outer limit, outer limit, outer limit diner, outer limits diner. Because their theme is like space, kind of. And I walked in at like 1. They close at 2 on Saturdays. Huh. Um, but they said as time goes on, like adult, they're going to be for, for a lot. But right now it sits till 2. And uh, there's a thing called the Unidentified Fried Object. And it looks like, they said it was like a tortilla with, they do like a lunch or breakfast. Like for, for breakfast it would be like eggs, potatoes. And I was like, that sounds good. Um... So yeah, ah, oh, it's been a it's been a fun night tonight. Um, it's about ten third. Well, it's about ten twenty six Eastern Standard Time, depending where you're where you're watching us. Um, I don't know anything else you want to want to say to our fans tonight. There, FP. Uh, well, I just hope you have a good holidays, no matter what you celebrate. You know, around the world or wherever you are. You know, be with your family if you can, or whoever you want to be with, and you know, just Merry Christmas yeah. and. Uh, now we'll definitely do a, a a New Year's Eve show, um, but yeah, hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. Oh, and catch us. Said we're gonna do something tomorrow. Might now we'll start at nine nine. I, 
by 9.30, we'll be on the air. Okay. Um, I want to shoot for 9, but I might go over and see how the GF is doing. Um, but I, I, I should be back by 9 o'clock because I want to, that's when I'm going to cook my ham. Uh, I was cooking at night, again, watching 24 Hours of Christmas Story, drinking my hot cocoa. Um, so check us out tomorrow night. We, uh, you know, uh, if we don't, if you don't catch us tomorrow night, because I know a lot of people have stuff going on. Um, well, it was Marcus, he's replying like crazy. <laughs> yeah, oh, we, you're welcome, Marcus. Thanks you for, uh, thanks for watching us. And, yeah. you know, we can't do this without you guys. And, you know, we always say like, share the, share the channel. Um. You know, to your friends, family, let's grow this. Let's grow this thing. You know, in twenty twenty four, that's that's my my one of my New Year's goals is let's get the channel let's get the channel up there. Um, I mean, you got to think about it. We've been putting out. Well, you've been putting out a lot more videos, but when I started in July, I think it was July of this year. Right. Yeah, it was about that. Yeah, we put about at least one or two videos up a week. Yeah. So far. Yeah, that's what we've been doing. And for all you guys that like the paranormal, check out FP's channel. I'll put the link in the description on the replay on the replay video. But it's YouTube.com backslash or forward slash at slash at false paranormal. Um, check them out. Check him out. He got some. He got some good videos on there. If you guys like guns, he has a shooting video. On there, I did that. That was for the Fourth of July. Oh, was it? Still, yeah. um, <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah, actually, on my on the website, because on the website when you go on my website, yeah, I have three videos usually. Oh. So I put your shooting one was one of them this week. So uh, until uh, yeah, it was this last past week. It was up there shooting one for you. Um, yeah, I just uh, huh. Well, guys, all good things must come to an end. And back to life. Back to regular life we go. <laughs> thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. All of you guys, you guys mean a great deal to us. Again, check us out tomorrow night around the same time. We're gonna be checking. We're gonna be checking. Uh, you know, we're gonna be checking. We're gonna be tracking Santa Claus. And uh, we'll take you know, take your your comments and. We'll answer best we can. So, as for tonight, good night. On behalf of FP, you know, I'm Jay Anch. I'm your host with the most. Good night. And uh, see, you later. see you later. See you tomorrow. Go home now.